So telco in their data centers have been implementing since several years and even decades different type of technologies to get benefit of the silicon advances. We're talking here about ARM, AMD, Intel, all have improved their technology. So the network modernization, the data center modernization is one, but not only one. We have multiple areas like the cooling. The cooling has been an, an area of innovation that in the data center really help the different uh, management practices to improve the efficiency. See, as the operators shape the data center and infrastructure strategy, one of the key considerations is always energy efficiency. Operators are considering cloudification to reduce the energy consumption and increase overall efficiency. Let me highlight some key benefits. One is scalability. The RAN cloudification enables scaling resources for optimized resource utilization and multi-tenancy for different workloads, such as IT, baseband, core, OT applications, and so on. Resource pooling is another benefit. Modular data centers allow the pooling of resources and adapting to traffic load for scalable and efficient energy use. And centralization is the another piece which helps the operators to increase the hardware utilization by centralizing the virtualized baseband functions, which enhances the energy efficiency compared to distributed kind of network deployments across the network. We are seeing a lot of development in the data center technology, uh, especially via the cloud migration virtualization. We have the option to optimize uh, the resource allocation and hence our energy usage is also going down. So from that angle, I would say that's um, going in a very good direction and we're able to maintain a very low power usage effectiveness, PUE as they call it. Um, lately also, we see a lot of improvement in the cooling systems, yeah, because um, moving towards the liquid cooling and so on, which was a theoretical concept some, some time ago, we see a lot of implementation there. Um, in addition to that, we see also more and more usage of renewable energy in our data centers. Um, so if we are powering our data centers with the green uh, energy, this also helps us to lower our power energy. More efficient hardware is having a major impact. For example, the move from Intel to more energy efficient architectures, for example, like ARM, the ability to sleep processes and other components is key here too. Workload aggregation and multi-tenancy, for example, CUs and DU aggregation in the edge or cloud core in more central data centers encourages energy consumption. And hybrid cloud has the ultimate potential to offload surge network traffic processing to cloud and not have to build for the peak 